All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel at Shrogs. And today we're playing Sea of Thieves and I'm going to be teaching you guys how to sail efficiently so that way you can destroy ships without ever taking any damage. This is going to work for both NPC ships such as the Ghost Fleets and the Flameheart ships. It's also going to work against skeleton ships as well as other players in the game. Where, where is my ship going? I didn't drop the anchor. All right, so the first little tip I got for you guys is when you put down your quest on the mission table, so here I put down the Ghost Fleet for the Order of Souls. The first thing to realize is when you're looking for whatever island you're on, I've already got mine marked, but if we pull up the quest and it says last seen at Plunder Valley, the first thing to know is that it's almost always going to put that mission near wherever you're at. So we started off at the Ancient Isles and it put it pretty close to us, and I found it's almost always within five little of these nautical miles, each one of these squares, it's almost always within five. Not always, but almost always. So what that means is like, if you don't see it right away, and then you find yourself like searching the entire map all the way over here, you, you probably missed it. Okay, so here it just spawned right here, pretty close to us. A trick that you could use this knowledge for is if you're in like a bad area, let's say there's a lot of other players that are PVPing, or you're near a Megalodon, or you're near a Skeleton Fleet, or for whatever reason, it's just a dangerous area for doing missions. What you can do is sail to a new safer area and then drop your quest, and it's gonna put it within those five squares, and boom, now you're doing a quest in a safe area rather than placing the quest in a dangerous area and remaining in that space. All right, so guys, I'm by myself going into this mission. I'm not trying to kill ships. It's simply to show you how to line up to be successful so that you can hit enemy ships before they can hit you and kill them without ever taking any damage. Now, we are sailing on the Red Maw today. That's the name of my ship. I know I'm a little nerdy, I named it. These ghost fleets are a great way to practice how you should properly steer a ship for success. So there's three goals whenever you're steering a ship. So the person steering the ship is the most important person. Not only are you tasked with keeping the ship safe, but you're also tasked with making sure the people on the cannons can hit ship. And your third task is also having the ability to project your ship in a way to where you can leave the helm and get repairs done while still keeping your ship in line to take out others. And we'll go over this um, here in this video. The first thing we're gonna talk about is how to approach an enemy ship. So here's the biggest flaw I see players make, okay? And this is this is the biggest flaw you can possibly make, okay? A noob will be steering the ship, and here's what happens. They line you up to take the ship out. But most of the time, if they're really noobs, they don't even line you up. A lot of noobs will head straight on into their opponent like this, okay? It's kind of like a straight shot. We're kind of just crossing each other just like in the pirate movies, okay? The problem with this is as the cannon guy, I can't hit him until we're point blank. And there's not enough time to get three shots off as we're crossing past each other. What that means is now he's sailing around the island and I have to chase him. All right, so to demonstrate this so you can get a clear view of what I'm talking about, I have pulled out paint. And that's how you know this is getting serious. Up here we have me. And down here we have the flame heart ship, okay? Now, these little lines coming out represent the areas in which they can fire their cannons. So, it can fire outwards this way. So, anything within this area for some long distance is in the danger zone. So, what this means is if you did what the noob does, then you're going to be crossing by side by side, which means you're going to be able to fire at each other at the same time. Meaning you have no advantage, you guys are equally going to do damage to each other. The problem with this is, is as you're going one direction, they are also going in the opposite direction and you guys are going to fly by each other. And in the real world, playing the game, you're only going to be able to land two shots unless you've slowed down your sails or are making a turn. So if you're going straight and they're going straight, you're only going to be able to land two shots and then you're going to keep sailing in this direction. They're going to keep sailing in this direction and it's going to take you 20 minutes to complete this event because you're just driving around off doing nothing while your enemy has gotten away from you and they're over here. So the proper way to do this is say you're approaching from over here. You're going to crank the wheel either to the right or to the left. So in this example, we open up to the left and we start turning. Now this ship, we are not in the firing range, 
but he's in firing in firing range of us and then we're going to do a loop de loop around him so we can shoot at him okay we're turning into this so we're going to continue to be able to hit him and there's only a brief moment where he can hit us and then we continue around hopefully that kills the target okay so here we have an enemy ship in front of us and this is going to be the guy that we want to kill okay so in order to make sure that we can kill him before he can kill us is right now I'm going to crank my wheel left or right. In this case, I'm going left. And I'm going to get it to a point where my guy on the cannon can start shooting. And then I'm going to do a horseshoe around it. So now I'm going to crank it right. Right now, that ship can't shoot us, but we can shoot it. And we're going to be doing a horseshoe around him. Meaning that as this ship goes by us, my angle stays on him. And even though both of us are moving, I can just keep him in my crosshairs that whole time. And there's nothing he can do about it. He can't shoot me until we get into that first spot. But even once we pass, same thing here. I have the right angle on him, and now I'm going to crank it left. And that means, like, he can't shoot me right now, but I can shoot him. And this is how you do this very efficiently because, like, you don't need to be below deck repairing because you're not even taking damage. You're just going to do this weaving where you're coming head on. Let's see, how do we do this? You're coming head on, and you're just going to turn and circle around them. All right, so this next segment and the next tip I have for you guys is about understanding how durable your ship is and not abandoning your job as the person steering or shooting cannons to run down and repair your ship. This is one of the biggest mistakes you can make. Okay, so that ship had hit us. We do have a couple holes, but guess what? I, I don't care. I'm not worried about it. Right now, if my cannon guy could hit that ship, I'm going to keep staring so that he can hit him. Who cares about the repairs? The more time we spend repairing and the less time we spend shooting ships, the more time we're spent out on the seas doing this mission. Okay? We're even on fire, but who cares? I need to sail us out of here. I don't hear any creaking. I'm not worried about this ship sinking. We're going to come put these fires out. Now that I have the ship directed where I want it to go. But look, 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 my ship is has holes on it, it's on fire, but guess what? I have a target I can hit, so we're gonna go ahead and hit that target. Okay, there's no reason to be repairing right now. If I can kill ships, I'm gonna kill ships. Unless I'm sinking, look, still have those holes still filling up water. I still have not left my ship. I'm still killing, I'm still staring, and this is the difference between a noob and a good player, is just understanding how much time you have, listening to those verbal cues, and realizing like, yeah, I have some holes, but look how long it's been going. Okay, we just heard our first creak. So when you're up there, you, you, you know, like, okay, it's starting to creak. You hear the creaking okay now it's time to whoops we filled up water now it's time when you hear these creakings you know okay we better get down there and start repairing if your ship is on the verge of sinking always bail over repairing okay it's better to bail water than to repair because look look i have not made a single repair yet there's no water in my ship minus what's actively coming in you can always, almost always bail water faster than you can repair. So what would happen if we did it the other way around? What would happen if we repaired first? Well, water's going to keep filling up. And when we're that close, like, sure, I'm repairing this hole, but water's still filling up. Which means that if I am not bailing, it's, the ship's just going to sink. Right? So always, always bail water first, then repair. Now, something to realize is the holes on the lower deck fill up with water faster than the holes on the middle deck, okay? So when you're going for repairs, you generally want to repair these ones down below deck first because they're getting more water in. AKA, you're going to sink faster. All right, so you made it to the end of the video, and honestly, that's really impressive if you did. I really appreciate you being here, and I just want to say thank you so much. If you enjoyed the video or you learned something new, please give this video a like as it helps me out and helps get my videos out there 
so I can grow. If you want to see more content like this, please let me know down in the comments below and consider subscribing. That way it tells me that the content that I'm making is worth something to somebody out there and that means a lot to me. So thank you so much for watching and making it this far. I really hope it was helpful. If you want to play with me, feel free to add me. My gamer tag for Xbox is AJFrogs. I play daily. So see you guys out in the seas. And until then, take care.